Boys and girls, this this um, lesson is still about rhythm, and it's about different time signatures. So we've been dealing with a 4-4 time signature. 4-4 is the most common of all time signatures. Sometimes in the time signature place, which is usually at the top left corner of the music, you will see a C. That C stands for common. Common means ordinary or something that occurs often. All right, so this is common and that's 4-4. Four, four. But boys and girls, there are more time signatures than just 4-4. Four, four. I want you to look, I've got a 2-4 and a 3-4 time signature. I want you to tell me what do all three of these have in common? And what do all three of these have that are different? Please excuse my puppy dog. So I just knocked on the door. Oh, goodness. All right. So anyway, so let's look. What do you think they have in common? All right. In common, they all have a four on the bottom. And that means that the quarter note is going to get the beat. They all have a the four on the bottom, and that means the chord note's going to get the beat. The top number, this one has a four, this one has a two, this one has a three. That tells me how many beats are in each measure. So if you see a two, four, there's only going to be two beats in that measure. If you see a three, four, that means there's only going to be three beats in the measure. And believe it or not, there are more <laughs> more time signatures than just this. There is a 6-8 time signature. There could be a 12-8 time signature. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right? Let's just worry about right now, anytime there's a 4 on the bottom, that quarter note gets the beat, and the number on top tells me how many beats are in each measure. <laughs> 